thing about baseball is you have a very short, precise time to get faster. Those milliseconds, they cost us outs. And so if we can just improve that time just a little bit, it helps us steal a lot more bases. Speed is there every day. <laughs> you know, you might be able to hit some days, some days you might be able to pitch, but speed is there every day, and it's something that I believe in as a coach. Purdue, that's all we preach about is running. We want to be the fastest team in the country because speed kills and, and it causes chaos on the base pass. Right, Getting the pitcher's mind, you never know what could happen. When their speedsters on base, then that's what happened. The baseball program at Purdue is really interested in bringing biomechanics and technology to their program. So when I talked to them and kind of explained what 3DAT was, they were really excited about bringing this technology to their athletes because it is cutting edge and it is what they're using on an elite Olympic level. And so bringing that to their athletes was really important. Biomechanics research has historically always been done in a lab controlled setting. And what markerless AI technology allows is we can now track that player without sensors in their natural habitat on the field or on a court and get those high precision metrics that previously we needed a lab for. We were able to see anything we wanted from an athlete and it's stuff that you can't see as a coach because it's so quick. And I can coach them all day long, but explaining it to them is different than when you put it in front of them. So when we put that sheet in front of them with all the metrics on it, they immediately see, without me even telling them anything, how they're getting better or what they need to do to get to that process of getting better. We can track every joint across their body. So what this means is we can then put that athlete into a virtual space and render the, out the skeletal kinematics. We can track things such as knee flexion, hip flexion, rates of movement, we can really track any type of dynamic movement. One of the biggest issues we have with guys is not getting upright. They don't get upright fast enough to create top speed, so that metric shows them the time that it takes to get to that point. And so if we can use the metrics to decrease the time they get to top speed, we can make our athletes faster. I was the slowest on the team. Whenever I was running, I was very like angled down. Like I just wasn't standing very tall and I didn't have good posture. And I didn't realize that at the time. I was just head down and run. Didn't think anything of it. And he brought it to my attention and it honestly changed just my running in general and made me a whole lot faster where I'm close to the top of the fastest on the team now. I started seeing a good difference kind of the second time we used it, to be honest. The first time he told me about my angle, and I fixed that immediately, and I immediately got faster, so that really helped out. It really has made a big difference. You can watch our guys fly around, you can see their first step, and you can see them learning their body movements and getting more control of that. Having this equipment, to be the first college baseball program to have this is just a, it's a tremendous asset for us as we try to build our program and continue to recruit quality players. We have really built this program on the development of our players. You know, give them a chance to come in, develop, have a chance to play at the next level and so forth. And this is exactly what allows us to, to get maybe that recruit that maybe wasn't thinking about Purdue, now can see what we can do for them if they come here and play for the next three to four years and give them an opportunity to advance their skills. I think it's going to really change the way that we train our athletes to get more information out of practices and games and not have to take them out of their natural environment and put sensors on them. I think that's really important to get that feedback to the athlete as soon as possible. And bringing this technology onto a field, into a gym, onto a court, really revolutionizes the sport and the state of research.